Hey guys, it's Jessica. Um, I want to take you guys, I want, I want to show you how I get ready for bed while currently being 33 weeks pregnant and with a two-year-old. Um, my daughter is in the room. Um, she's on her tap, her iPad, watching like shows and stuff. Um, I already brushed her teeth. I figured I'd knock that out the way because that's honestly the hardest part for me, which just kind of sounds dumb, but it's like just getting the energy to brush her teeth. I mean, I brush, it's not even the energy. It's just like, she's just like so like indecisive. Like I'll brush her teeth and then like an hour later she'll be like trying to eat something. So I put my foot down and like I'm not feeding her the rest of the night. So I'm like, let me just brush her teeth and get it out the way. So now I'm going to focus on myself. Um, I took a shower this morning, but I feel really gross, guys. I've been using these, like, panty liners. And I don't know what it is with panty liners. I don't know if it's because, like, the vagina has, like, discharge. But, like, if you don't change your panty liner, it just smells, like, off. And I'm like, I know my vagina doesn't smell off, you know? So I notice it's when I keep the panty liner on too long. So I feel kind of gross. I'm going to take a shower. Like, look at me. I got fucking stains on my shirt. Like, I just don't feel my best right now. Um, the hard part... The hard part about, um, getting ready for bed for me is my daughter, honestly. Um, I live with my grandparents, so it's like, she's just like kind of like all over the place. Like, she'll be here, and then one second she'll be over there, and it's like, they have work in the morning. And they act like they don't mind her, like, being in their room, like, on her iPad. But it's just, like, weird, you know? And then I can kind of, like, hear my grandpa, like, get annoyed. Like, oh, stop. Or, like, chill out, you know? So I just rather not keep my daughter in there. But she's two, so it's, like, she'll just, like, go in there, you know? So if I, like, don't pay attention to her, or if she feels that I'm gone for too long, she'll just go to their room. And it's just kind of, like... I don't know, it's just kind of annoying, you know, like, I wish, like, my baby would just stay in one place, you know? It's just kind of overwhelming, like, when once they get to walking, it's like, they want to be here, 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 so. That's my only concern, that's the thing that doesn't give me the true peace and relaxation that I want when, like, you know, like, it's just, like, I never really have true peace because I'm always, like, oh, where is she, you know? Like, she's always getting into something. So, enough about that. Um, I've been also really thinking about natural birth. I don't know, me and my family just have, like, a super rocky relationship. Like, I don't, I don't know. We just, uh, there's no communication, good communication. It's just kind of like, we're just, like, coexisting with each other. At least with my grandparents. I don't really talk to any of my other family. But, like, thing, one of the things that have been, like, really stressing me out is when I give birth. Um... I guess I'm supposed to, like, leave my daughter, I don't know. The options I have is I can leave my daughter with my grandparents or I can leave my daughter with my aunt. I don't really talk to my aunt and there's, like, no boundaries there, you know, like, no open communication, so I don't feel comfortable leaving my daughter with her. And there's definitely not any bound. well, there's a little bit more, but it's just, it's, there's no one that I'm like, well, yeah, of course I can leave, like, my daughter with you, you know? So, I'm really thinking, it makes me emotional because I'm, like, really scared. But I feel like I'm just going to have, like, a home birth. I heard this girl say that, like, she knew someone that had a home birth. And then after she had the baby, they had to take her to the hospital. I guess to just to make sure the baby was fine. And I think I'm okay with that. I'm okay with even just having the baby at home. And then, like, the next day, just making, like, a trip to the hospital with my daughter. I don't know. Like, as long as he's fine, that's all I care about. So, I don't know how that would look like, because I know they're probably going to want to check me and stuff. But I just, honestly, guys, I just don't want to leave her side. I don't want to leave my baby with anyone. And it's, like, to some people that, like, leave their babies with whoever, like, their kids, like, you know, are in daycare and stuff. They're probably like, bitch, just leave her with your grandparents. And it's like, you have to be like my type of parent to understand why I just don't leave my baby with anyone. So, the mood I'm in tonight is I, I'm going to work on my blog after I take a shower and like, get ready. 
I'm gonna work on my blog. And it's just like annoying. Like my baby's up. Like I, I'm probably gonna try to put her to sleep. Cause I really am like trying to get in like a, a deep focus like mindset tonight. And like she's just like such a distraction. I love her to death obviously, but like she's just a distraction. Like and if she sees me up, she doesn't go to sleep. So I'm probably gonna have to put her to sleep and then I wanna do like a little bit more research. I wanna see like some home birth videos. Maybe see like the experience, how, what experience they had. Like honestly, I don't even give a fuck about the whole, the birth. Like, I, it's scary. Like I'm scared to go through it, but I would much rather just do the whole natural birth than to like leave my baby. Like that's how much I love my baby. Like I'm willing to die in birth <laughs> than to leave her with someone. And it's sad. Like wow, you don't have people that you would feel comfortable enough to leave her with so that you don't go through something like that. Please go to your room. Go lay down. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump in the shower now. It's like I missed the days where I could just fucking put her in the crib. I was thinking about locking the door, but it's just like, that's kind of excessive. So it is what it is, you know. I'm gonna just take a shower. If she fucking ends up in the other room, then she does. But I'll be right back. I'm gonna take a shower.